this is our 2005 Centurion. Okay, so it's uh, now got 16 years old. Mm -hmm. This is the very last vintage that we did under under cork. So, so the part of the evolution of wine in Australia is that um, you know, cork developed a bit of a reputation for not necessarily always being the perfect closure, but very good corks age wines very well. So it, it became a bit of a reliability thing. Okay? Okay. But there are a lot of people out there who would never have opened a cork bottle before. You know? So, yeah, I'm so, lose so half Jay, the cork I'm, in the bottle. Are you going to give me a red hot? I'm going to show you do it. So this is a this is a. Don't show her. Make her do it. This is, I'm not going to, no, 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 no. just going to do it. Yeah, don't yeah, let it. Yeah, sure. Right, here we go. So this is a cool strip there, and they're very elements of a cool strip. Mm -hmm. okay. is, has, it got Richard, show me the ropes. has it got Richard Hamilton? So we have a pocket knife on one side and the corkscrew on the other. Yep. Firstly, there's a knife. Okay. The knife mm -hmm. is for, for cutting the foil. So we slice. Jade, one corkscrew. Why, thank you, sir. You know what, though? This is great education for okay. people that. No, no, pull it away. Oh, That's yeah, it. I thought it was. Okay. See, no, don't no, no. Were you left hand or right hand? Put it behind. And put your finger behind us. Are we doing this way? And don't cut your finger and turn the bottle rather than and keep your pressure underneath the thing. You're almost there, you're getting a bit of a funny angle there, but you're trying to make go, it. We're going to go higher yeah, up, yeah, are we? You know well, what we should have done? We should have actually it. shot this scene first. <laughs> you're trying to get underneath there. It should be nice and deep. Right underneath? Alright, here we go. And it should now peel off, hopefully. Okay, let's go this Just way. Just put a bit this of pressure on it. You need a bit of pressure. Your serious face is funny. Oh, I'm on it. Mm, yeah, serious I'm face determined is funny. to yeah. get this right. I'll probably go to. Here we go. You don't do the first. Oh, you actually take off the plastic? Yeah. Okay. There's a top bit. Put yeah. it back up so people can see. It's it. not plastic. It's it's a tin foil, okay? So now you expose the cork. No, 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 no. Plastic's cheap, tin foil. Mm. <laughs> Alright, now we're dead centre. Put it, put it back yeah, on there. Put a bit of oh, actually, you can't oh. reach, can I'm you? I'm too short. No, you can't I'm reach. I'm too short. Okay. So put Ready? a bit of pressure just so that the. Do you want to start it off for yeah. me? Yeah, no, you, you, you can get the right angle. Yeah, see, it's going to bend. You might you might have to put it in for it. Yeah, see? Start it off for me. There you go. That's it, this starts. There you go. The key to it. Now you can turn the corkscrew around. Now turn this corkscrew, yeah. You see where we're going? Straight, straight. That's it. Keep going now. More. Could have really, really done with that step ladder, couldn't you? Yeah. So these are really good. I could have done with a crate. So a at, crate. At, at the time, a milk crate. It, that's enough. We will stop. Okay. So now you want to then just check that you haven't gone too far by just bending that down and okay. seeing if that hits on there. So it does. So that's, that's, ah. that's a first step. So, so that's your, so, so that's your little level to know that you've hit the right point? Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Now you, now you want to say push it in so that it hits the bottle and then slowly lever it up. So you've got to, no, you're not too. No, no, no. no. And now we want to what, lever hey, it up? Push, push it in. Push it in so it actually locks onto the bottle. And then you've got to lift the handle up. And then lift the handle up. Oh, gosh. I'll, I'll hang onto the bottle. Alright, do that. That's it. Oh! Not too far. Now you've got to keep oh. it straight. You Here we go. We're almost there. On. And when you're halfway up, change your angle and get the next step. Ah, oh, don't twist it. Don't twist. No. Okay, so we don't yep. twist. And then it's got another, another level here, see? Okay. Okay, so now it's got to be more. And then we do yeah, another. Yeah. That's it. And it's got to pull that straight in. Okay. Now with old wines, we often decant a wine. Okay. Yes. Now, we need a bit of a little bit of an aeration. That's right. It's a bit of an yeah. aeration, but it's also an older wine may may throw out a little bit of sediment. So this is mm. wine education number number two. When you looked at that very young centurion, it's lovely and bright and fresh in colours and lovely bright reds and so forth, mm -hmm. as, as were the other wines too. There, as a wine matures, it absorbs a little bit of air. Okay, so especially with a cork, it absorbs some air, and the molecules that make up the colouring compound in wines, the anthocyanins, they Do you absorb. Know who me of? They absorb. Remember the guy from the Cabri ad? <laughs> He's just got that, that thing, but how has he? The scientist. <laughs> he does. That absorbs a bit of air, mm -hmm. and, and those molecules then become larger. Okay? And as they become larger, they'll change from that really bright red colour to a slightly ochre colour. So okay. when, when you try so an older one, a little bit more brown infused. You'll see a little bit more brown infused. Okay. Over a period of time, mm -hmm. if those compounds become large, large enough, mm -hmm. they'll actually come out of solution and form a little bit of a sediment. Okay, so that's where the sediment comes from. So, so, okay. when, we, so, okay. when, we, so when we when we decant a wine, we're doing two things. One, we're giving a bit of aeration. Mm -hmm. And secondly, we're just keeping an eye on, the, on that. And it's a bit of a sacrifice. Now, it's, it's a really... Yes, a, this it's is a wine little, you've... Yeah, yeah, that little bit in the, in the bottom where you think... Oh, this is a wine you've aged for a long time. Yes. You don't want to waste a drop because every drop is precious. Okay? But we're an aged wine. Well, maybe just the very last little bit we might just leave behind. And that's why the... Or, are... or we could just pour jade that there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, give me the cheap yeah. drinks. Oh, well, it's not cheap. I do that much. <laughs> and that's another reason why wine bottles are shaped like that. If you look at this bottle, okay. and if I can... If you get a, a normal sort of claret bottle, for example, you've got a sh high shoulder here. Yeah, a little bit wider through the... That, 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 that allows the sediment to stay inside that 
that part of the bottle. Oh, so it catches the sediment yeah. as you're pouring. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I'm you can just not sure if we're on the uh, SA1 Weekly or the Curiosity Show, but <laughs> you know, either, either or, we're going all right. Okay. So go. now, Jay, you're going to decant this, and, and what you okay. want to do is you want to hold it up like this. And pour it like a beer. And mm -hmm. pour it very slowly down, down the side. <laughs> and in the same doing so, you want to look at the clarity of the wine going in there. Okay. And here, and when you get down to about here, just pour it quits. You know, oh, the only problem beautiful. though is the people won't be able to see it if she has to do that. Is that any tippy teas? Yeah. And it is crazy. Right, better. here we go. Mm. Where's that So crate? we're going to do a little bit of a. And don't invert the bottle. Keep it going the same way. Don't stop. She's good at doing what she's told, isn't she? Not sure. You're not sure? Keep Too going. Fast. No, don't stop. Don't stop. Keep going. Too fast? No, you're right. So what we're doing is, no, don't move it. Just pour it slowly and gently. It's a, it's a massage of a wine. You don't, move. you don't want to do this thing too quickly. Keep going. How are we hitting? Don't do it. Keep stop. going. Keep going. Look at the clarity. If it's still clear, you can keep going. Okay. And maybe just okay, right about Yeah, about there, I reckon. That's good. So what you've done now is you give the wine a bit of aeration. So as a wine sits in a bottle, it gets a, you know, can get a little bit stale over a period of time. And um, you don't need to swirl it. You've already done your job. And yeah. probably if we were doing this um, at, at, a, at a dinner party or something, we might do this an hour, hour and hour in advance if I was serving it. But, um, mm -hmm. now an hour? An hour? And give it a little yeah, bit so of duration yeah. before what, Not too long. If so it's a very old wine, not, not too long, because a, okay. a, very, a very, very old wine, say wine that's maybe 30 or 40 years old, mm -hmm. um, it, it can start to deteriorate very, very, very fast. So you don't want to decant it too soon, but, okay. um, but, but enough times that it gives a bit of aeration and gets mm -hmm. rid of the sediment. There's nothing worse than having a dinner party with a very old wine and then the last person gets all the, gets um, gets the sediment at the bottom. Yeah. Okay? Especially when you're pouring like this all the time and so you're mixing it all up so the wine's sat there you've had it in your wine rack for 30 or 40 years it's it's laid there it's dropped its sediment out Jay, the Jay, worst thing you can do Jay's, is Jay's do not this even 30 yet, so it's probably a bit difficult <laughs> but yeah you will be old enough to have a 30 year old wine one, don't worry one, 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 one. okay one thing that we do now is to make sure mm -hmm. that this particular wine um, mm -hmm. hasn't been influenced by the cork so we get a little pour okay. of a glass Okay. See, so do a little tasting. This glasses. is like a silver service lesson, really, it isn't really it? It is. It is. Mm. Do you actually, another and useless but interesting fact, I so actually have a, a silver bit. service certificate. Do you really? I do. Very good. I do. So we're just pouring a little, a yeah. little touch for yeah, your Just taste. a little bit, it's a sample here to make sure yeah. it, it's okay. Isn't that? And seeing that you're similar, you can taste first. And just and all you want to do is just smell it. Don't need to taste it. Okay. And, and so it should smell? It smell, should smell nice and fresh. It, sh it shouldn't smell like um, like a wet bag. If it smells like a wet bag, then the cork is a real problem. If it smells. Make, make sure you lie because live. Make sure you lie because we're on TV. No, so. yeah. mm. she smells fresh. Can I have a smell? You mm. more than welcome mm. to yeah. as the connoisseur. Another thing we do is final decision. Yeah, well, people swirl the wines. Uh, to see the grip of the glass, to see the colour, no, possibly. And it also it also changes the surface area that's being exposed, so it allows the volatiles to come out. To and, and that's why that wine, a wine glass is like mm -hmm. that, so it actually concentrates the smell. Mm -hmm. So you've got a larger surface area here, and a smaller here, so it concentrates mm -hmm. the smell. And that's what you feel. And that's what we feel. So when, when you see people looking at wine... Oh, there's, there's three of us here. <laughs> like, oh, well, you can try oh, a glass. Oh, wine's, oh, wine's oh, fine. Now. More than welcome. And and now seeing that you've you've passed your waitressing course, now you now you can serve the yeah, wine yeah. to, to, <laughs> okay. drink, could you? to the um Let's to the it. to the two customers. Alrighty. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna hold it for you. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. pop it down. So the thing, the thing about old wines is that it's part of the wine, but it's also you can look back at your own memories of that time as well. So this is what, two thousand and and uh, and five? And you start to look back at what you were doing in 2005, what, what you were doing, who you who you were with, what type of fun you had, what bad times you may have had. But it's 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 a it's a, a means of recapping your memories over that period of time. It's just it's um in my mind that's just um, that's part of the joy of older wines. So cheers. This is um, cheers. This thank is you great. very much. Well, thank you. I wouldn't have tried this I wine. Less than that. That was fun. I, I wouldn't usually let you have this one. No. no. <laughs> cheers. Mm. Oh. Okay, let's okay. give it a whiff. How, how does it smell, Nathan? So, so now we've seen a change of colour. It's still quite deep. There's no difference in the depth of colour. But right. you'll see on the edges it's, it's lost those really bright red colours. Yeah, now, yeah. now it's got some oak. Yeah, you see those sort of slightly ochre colours? Mm. Okay. Put down the flat so you can sort of see just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Almost to the point so of the tipping it out. So the way to do it 
Don't tip it in here. Essentially, and, and, and all you're doing is looking at the very edge. You don't need to turn it. Just, just look at. So it's this edge here, yeah, and then yeah. there's burgundy. This right, yeah. Walking yeah. along the, the cusp of yeah. the wine. Hmm. So a wine that ages very well, that that um, that the colour still remains sort of nice and nice and red over a long period of time. So that's yeah, got so some nice no, no brown tinge. Not not a huge amount of brown tinge there, but a, a very old wine that will become brown. I'll take it home later and yeah, right, bring it drain out. It, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's smells... ah, come on, cheers. Cool. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Thank you very much. So now you're using some secondary characters. Oh, wow. So not just the um, not just the pure fruit of the wine and the, and the oak and the Avos influence. You're looking at other secondary characteristics and some bit of cedary type of things coming through. And oh my gosh. And also a softening of the tannins, You've got that roundness and richness. That's oh. and that's the joy of having older wines that you put down for a long time. Well, they've got to be put down correctly too, don't they? That, they do. That's the key to it. Yep. Mm. That. that is smooth. Mm. Can you buy? Can, can, can the punters buy this? Can they? We got a bottle of very little stock of this. Very little stock. Okay. Yeah. Mm. They can win it though. <laughs> well, they should. They should be able to. Yeah. We'll see how we go. But how many um, bottles are available? Mm. So when you talk about sort of buying wines to age, you know, you're talking about buy six or twelve. I think you need, if you're going to buy a wine of this type of quality, mm -hmm. you need to buy at least three. You know, one that you take yeah, home and you can't. Pick. Again, one that you store Stop. and then one yeah, that you Mark and you're that. shaking their head. They say no, six or twelve. Yeah, well, six <laughs> or twelve. <laughs> well, this is a, no, 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 you buy a dozen. This yeah. is a very minimum. It's yeah. so one that you um, try. I think, oh, you can't wait to see if it's like, oh, this is really good. One that you try in wow. five years' time and, and think it's really good. This is, this is going to last forever. And one you lay down until you're far too old and you and you, and then you forget about it. And, you, and that's why you, and that's why you buy it in six or twelve because that's then you it. you've got yeah, a couple, couple of minutes. Because then you've got a selection to drink throughout the centuries. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's beautiful. But that's part of it. That's part of the memory of having tried a wine when it's young. Yeah. How lucky yeah. are you? Really, yeah. it's good. Yeah. It's an exquisite wine. Yeah. It really is. Then this might go into blue cheese. Right, that's that's it's trying because that, that's that's a well, really good comparison. How do you feel about the uh, yeah? The strong cheese with this I'm one. not a real fan of blue cheese as it is, but I'm, I'm willing to oh, give so it a that's go. Why you buy yeah. it. Huh? Personally, I think blue cheese goes well with, well with a really sweet wine like a port. And that's yeah, yeah, a port oh, port, yeah. So you like the opposite. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's going to be in my top three ever. This is um, part of the aliveness of wine and, and the way that um, you know, people talk about drinking wine in moderation. Um, which you know, we sure we sure do. It's, you know, we we, we realise we are drinking alcoholic beverage, and you know, we shouldn't drink too much. Disagree of it. in wine in moderation. You probably talk to Jay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but you can imagine this in a in a in a lovely round glass. You can spend mm -hmm. half a mm -hmm. meal just smithing this wine. You can. And you can just smell it, and it's just half um, the flavour in it. Is and it's actually just a um, oh, the stories you could tell. Yeah. It's just it's just yeah. the, the thrill of wine's good, and yeah, and over a period of time you sip it away, and it's good, and and, and um, yeah, it's. Oh, I would be able to tell some great stories. They would get embellished a little bit over the, over this wine, but yeah. so they will be doing it in two thousand and five. What was I doing in two thousand? I was trying to think. Two thousand and five. Yeah, I reckon I was an oxygen therapist, working for the Department of uh, Defence and okay. Department of Veteran Affairs, doing all the oxygen equipment for the diggers. Oh. So yeah, I was, uh, and I worked palliative care for and neonatal. Oh, what a good job. Hmm. It's actually a horrible job. No, no, yeah. it's detrimental on you, but it's nice to do for society. Yeah, I was good at it. It's I was, nice to I was do really good at it. And, um, it takes a toll on your mental health. Mm. Oh, no, I don't know. It can't get much worse. But oh, I would. Oh. No, I just, um, I didn't realise. Because you just did it. And I was on 24-7 calls. Yeah. I was the only one who could fix the machines. But yeah, it was, well, yeah, yeah. Brings, brings me back to a time where... Um, I didn't have such an enjoyable job, I can tell you that much. I must say one thing, I'd just come through the best period of my life. Yeah. 2001, 2002, 2003. Triple premiership for Brisbane. Oh. Yeah, yeah that'd be right. Yeah, I'm just, you know, any chance I can, I'm going to bring that up. But. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try this cheese with this exquisite wine. It's beautiful. There's okay. a lot of flavour through it, and I'm about to have a little sip to compare. To be honest, Nathan, I think your pairing is a little bit more spot on than mine today. That blue cheese and that last blend were probably my favourite blend. I like the two together. How are you feeling about it? 
still taking away the flavour a little bit from the wine because the blue cheese it, is quite strong. Yeah, it's t still too strong for me. How do you feel about the cheddar? I haven't gone the cheddar, but what, what have we got here? Well, we do have a little bit of, we've got the ah, walnut yes. blend yes. there as well. Mm. More of a nutty. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Penaforte. Penaforte. Mm. Mm. Not pianoforte, but. Pianoforte. 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 Mm. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh your eyes lit up there. That is good. Yeah. It still makes good music. <laughs> <laughs> Try some. Alright. I'll go as far I would go to as far as say that's probably the best pairing for the day. So the mixture of this is yeah. uh, nuts and there's fruit in that too. Okay. And chocolate. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think it's dried, dried fruit and nuts and a bit of flour. Oh, okay. mm. yeah. No chocolate? Not that I know of. No. It may it looks be. Like Must have been come through it, in Maybe not. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's mm. so. Hopefully, if I've, if people can try a few of these wines down the track, um, older and um, and they're still looking as good as this, then I think I've probably achieved my job, achieved my run, my aim of um, laying down a legacy for the future. Mate, you've done exceptionally well. You've done Thank you. amazingly well. Yeah. Everything we've tried today has been top notch. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah. just been um. This is a class above, though. This this is a class above. Yeah. But it's, but it's such a privilege to be a winemaker for a company with so much heritage. You know? Yeah. There are a whole lot of new newcomers out there who, 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 who are about to start their heritage. Yeah. And here, you know, I'm, I've been lucky enough to actually work with a company who's got the heritage you and know, the pen pedigree and, and to help carry that on. I just, it's such a joy. The passion is shining through, though, mm. that you have for the company and, mm. and the history. Exactly. And You've got the enthusiasm in it. You love it to your core. Oh, thank you. So that means a lot. So I'm actually really looking forward to... Uh, Travelling down to the Kunawara to meet you down there. Be exactly. And, um, we'll be up there in the next uh, month or so. You won't forget your hat. I won't forget the hat. We'll be there. <laughs> we'll be there Sunday night for a roast with some quints. We will. We will. And um, we're looking forward to seeing what Leckenfield's got to offer. It'll be fantastic. Thank you. But we will see you. Richard Hamilton. Well, they're going to have to go pretty, pretty well to beat today's effort. Today was a hard one to beat. Yeah. So I think that uh, yeah, we'll see in Leckenfield and see what's on offer.